it was living through the 1929 Great Depression that helped shape my social conscience. During this time, I realized manufacturing plants were still intact and resources were still there, but people didn't have the money to buy the products. I realized a more effective method would be to redesign the culture. I spent so many years improving area by area, I said, look, the whole society is aberrated. Why not redesign society? My guest is an extraordinary Miamian, Dr. Jacques Fresco. What is, is socio-cyberneering? Socio-cyberneering is an approach at the restructuring of society in humanistic terms. We work out one-eighth of the city system, and then we reproduce it instead of have architects design each building. In the central dome, you got schools, dental care, medical care, access to goods and services, everything that the community needs. All our cities will be separated by a half mile of landscape areas and return to the natural ecological balance. So the animal life between cities will go back to nature. This is the government of the future. No people. The sooner you get rid of the people, the better. Because this, this machine might be the Department of Agriculture. It's, it has its electrical tentacles into the soil. And if the water table drops, that pumps water on that. You don't need a guy with a telephone. The Department of Agriculture. There's more than enough resources. So we call it a resource-based economy. So you have a built-in democracy. You have a participatory culture where all people participate, and that is in a constant process so that people will know up to the minute what is coming out, what exists, what is available, what is not available. In other words, there'd be many bulletins and many publications and visualizations of what is needed. So all the world's people will be informed constantly of what we don't know, what is needed badly, and asking for suggestions and papers and ideas from everybody. <laughs>